What's up, YouTuber fans of mine? I am Ashley Gavin. Zoom, zoom, what the kids do. Mac hates this already. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what you hate or what you love, okay? I dress like a 23-year-old boy today because Mac is on my channel, and I know that's what the little baby gays want. What's up, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm a little bit like alarmed now, but other than that, I'm doing good. <laughs> that's the brand. The brand is total chaos. I lit candles for this, so I'm gonna, cause it's romantic. Are you gonna hold that the whole time? Just like. I, I'm gonna, this is the gayest content I've ever made. Actually, we're summoning a lesbian god right now. We're, wit we're witches. Shannon Beveridge is about to pop up right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> You are here today because I have a new series that I'm doing where I roast famous queer people and maybe straight people's dating profiles. I'm absolutely terrified. Cause like, I'm not a dating app person. Why is that? I just have never been good at using them. Like you're famous, you're famous, <laughs> you're famous. You arrogant piece of shit. You arrogant piece of shit. Yeah, talk about the difference in dating between pre blow up and now. Oh my God, like different universes. I also had long hair before when I was like single for a really long time. And after I cut my hair, a glow up happened. Like it was, it was spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine the halo around you, the <laughs> hair falling down. And I chopped that hair off. I grew like three inches. Like it's like, just, like, it's like a reverse up. Jesus. <laughs> exactly. Your hair gets ch shorter and you get holier. Exactly. Um, yeah, so I used to kind of just like not really date, I guess, when I had long hair. And then I cut my hair off and then started going to like clubs. Clubs? Like, like that kind of thing? There are some like that here. They like kind of sketch me out. There are two that are not like that. One of them is called Martha's, it's a gay club. The other one is called Club Rodeo. And everyone That sounds like a Trump rally. <laughs> no, okay, so You heard it here first. Mac and Jemmy is a Trump supporter. <laughs> you can put that in the title and like <laughs> watch the views go up. <laughs> but everybody at Club Rodeo does like organized square dancing. If you ever come here and you want to go watch people square dance, and also like the most fun thing to do there is to like jump in and try to like do it as they're doing it. And like I can't dance in general, but I, will always I can't try. dance either. So the idea of square dancing or line dancing, actually, I find very appealing. This is the most bottom part of my personality. For dancing, just tell me what to do. T tell me where to put my feet. Yeah. I will do it. The square dancing is easy because it's like, like, like what you're saying. It's like steps. Like you just do this and then you're done. Yeah. That's why white people invented square exactly. dancing. I hope I don't get <laughs> for this. I hope white people actually invented it. <laughs> Listener, viewer, subscriber, YouTuber, tell me who invented square dancing because I'd be willing to put money down that it is in fact white it's people. 100%. Alex, look this up. Look this up. So good. I don't even remember what we were talking about. I'm gonna roast you. I'm gonna roast the living shit out of you. Right, me. my Tinder. Yeah, this is my profile. So if you download Tinder, you might find me on Tinder <laughs> and we might match up. <laughs> um, Tinder server is crashing right now. Just FYI. Yeah. Just, they're like, what? How, why are so many queer 23 year olds signing up for Tinder right on now? On the uh, Missouri Tinder. I think there's only like <laughs> so much that we can do from this, uh, this distant range. What's the like highest distance you can go on I don't know if we can get out of state. A lesbian knows the answer to that yes. question. Somewhere a lesbian, it's like, it's 999 exactly. miles actually. It's I, There are no lesbians here and I have tested the limits. I actually installed an add-on onto the app to expand my radius. I am currently matched with a woman in Indonesia. I'm not sure if I'm getting 90 day fiance, but help, I'm trying to find the lesbians. Exactly, I feel like when you switch your sexuality on Tinder from straight to lesbian, it goes global. Like there's no restriction. <laughs> They drop all the restrictions off of it. Like they're like, we know you need yeah. that. <laughs> they're like, you can do long distance, even if you think you can't. You can do it. It, it comes with a free bus <laughs> ticket. <laughs> 50% off your first flight with American Airlines. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also Mac, you know how people don't listen to anything? Yeah, nobody listens to anything. You're you're a fan of mine, right? Like you enjoy my work. Absolutely. Tell the people to sign up for my email Dude, and text alerts. Sign up for Ashley's email and text alerts. Literally, what are you doing? If 
you live in Missouri or around St. Louis, me and my sister are gonna be at the St. Louis show when she's in St. Louis. So come and we can all meet each other and all hang out. Sign up, what are you doing? I'm touring the whole country and you're not gonna hear about it via my Instagram, you piece of shit. You don't check it out. Piece of shit. Don't, yeah, <laughs> you tell them, don't. Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna check your website. No, you're fucking not. No, you're I will not. text you once a year, once a year, or email you once a year, and it enters you for free tickets in your region. I will also come and get dinner with you in any city in the continental United States. Legally, I have to say it's not a date though. I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now let's go through it. All right. Let's see your Tinder. This is Max authentic Tinder profile. This is my legit First Tinder. of all, wait, I have to stop you right yeah. there. Why Tinder, you scumbag? Uh I don't know. I feel the safest on Tinder. Are you serious? Tinder, I feel like just scrolling, swiping through Tinder, I'm going to get gangrene of my foot. <laughs> I, I I literally feel like this is, I'm infected. I'm getting an infection right now. What do you, wait, what do you use? I think this is a regional thing. If you live in a major urban area like New York City or San Francisco, I feel like it like goes by trend and I feel like Hinge is where it's at. Really? But if you're in a more less populated area, they haven't heard about it yet cuz like you live in an area where everyone like the basic girls are wearing like tunics and Uggs and shit. I'm sorry, tunic. <laughs> cuz I was watching Hercules the other day and I want to be that for Halloween. <laughs> I did, in fact, say tunic and not a tunic shirt, and there is a major difference. What's the difference? Alex. Alex, please put up a picture of a, of a Roman wearing a tunic and then also a woman from Iowa in a tunic shirt and a pair of Uggs. If I could dress, like, from a different era, it would be, like, the Roman tunic with, like, a sword belt and, very like, Very androgynous. Right? Very, yes. very gay androgynous time. It's exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, insert uh, Max head onto a Trojan or something. Alex, please. Alex. <laughs> he's gonna be so busy. He's gonna be like so upset about this. He's like, I had to hi hire a whole animation crew because Ashley told me to make a cartoon version of Mac as Hercules. <laughs> oh my God. I am so scared, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. I can't wait to see your like question responses too. The wait, question responses? Maybe that's a different app. I'm thinking of a different app. Hinge, you gotta get on Hinge. My ex came up in my in my hinge suggested the other day. What'd you do? It happens all the time. I just matched with her because I thought it was funny. And she matched me back because she thought it was funny. Slash, we're still in love. Hmm? 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 I didn't say anything. Go on. <laughs> I was told that if you see somebody that you know on Tinder, you're supposed to swipe right on them no matter what. Are you talking about culturally? Like in the in the culture, it is appropriate to say, hello, I acknowledge that you are lonely. I am lonely. Yeah. Let us rejoice in this horrible time. Exactly. It's like not a thing where you're like making it awkward and like, oh, let me pretend I didn't see that. It's like a thing where you're like, we're in the same boat, but ah, we're not for each other. I I actually do, if someone I know matches with me, I do match back and I go, ha ha ha, this is funny. Even if someone DMs me and they're like, I saw you on TikTok and I will not go on a date with that person, but I will match with them just to say that I have tickets on sale. So like, <laughs> listen, shameless plug. Oh, did you send me your silly little profile? So, wow, you haven't even looked at it yet. How can you say that? Let's look at number one. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> no. Mac, that is a horrible first picture. Are you, Are you joking? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I sent it to you out of order. Don't look. Now I just send it to you in order. This is what I would have expected. So very, very gay, just in case you got lost and you didn't know where you were. Here's a rainbow tattooed across my fucking head. This is how you know this is a profile in Missouri, okay? <laughs> Men be gone, gay, 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 rainbow everywhere. Sup ladies, first line in the bio. This is how you fucking know you are in Missouri. You okay. like, might as well be like, men get away from me. Okay, Mac, we get it. You're you're gay. Yeah. Also, sup sup ladies. I don't know why this like, up. I tried typing out other things. Like I tried like hi. <laughs> but like when I, you when you type hi, you read it as like hi, and I wanted to be like sup. I can <laughs> I can say it in a different way. No, no, you cannot because this is who you are. I can just see the tip. <laughs> Sup, ladies. Like, I can no. just feel it. You have your little tongue on the coffee cup. 
chocolate. <laughs> okay, like, listen, the first picture was intentional because it was like, you know, it insinuates a little bit. It's like Exactly. You <laughs> ladies, you know you know if you're good at drinking a latte, you're good at like I could put my mouth on here. <laughs> Sup ladies? I can put my mouth on you. I've had sex before. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, if this doesn't if this doesn't go viral, I'm literally I'm gonna take the whole gay internet out. You have out. to I'm make this into a out. TikTok clip. I'm dying. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. What's up, ladies? I'm gay. All right. I I know what sex is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna read this. Sup, ladies? I hate dating apps. Much prefer meeting people in real life. But here I am because things are not going well. Things aren't working. <laughs> So, if we seem compatible, let me buy you a coffee or a beer. Not looking for anything serious. Wow, just hearts broken at this moment. <laughs> but at least, honestly though, Mac, I just real, real moment here. I think that's really good. So for those of you who like Mommy Ashley, when I give actual advice, I'm gonna barf. No, Mommy is big with the kids right now. I know, I know. Oh my God. It is so my time as I get into mom age and lesbians are now hot for the first time in history. Oh my God, lesbians are so hot right now. I, <laughs> lesbians, so hot right now. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm peaking, I'm peaking. But this is just such a great straightforward answer. I love it. I love that like you're honest and you don't have to wait, you know, six weeks into a conversation. First of all, no one should be talking for that long on an app, but you don't have to drop that in person and waste someone's time. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, like it's out there. Okay, so what we've learned from Max's first photo is that she's had sex before <laughs> and that she is gay. It's, it's just that it would be douchey to like say it outright, you know? <laughs> so instead I'm gonna lick, I, how, many, how many times did you take that photo? Uh, well, Mattia took it for me. My sister, for the viewers that don't know, um, she is very good at like making it perfect. So she'll be like, oh, like stick your tongue out she's or straight. like blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she, like, she knows what to tell me to do. So we took that picture a couple times. Yeah, but it works. It's a, it is genuinely, as much as I um, loathe pictures like this, it is genuinely a hot picture and will get the result. Also, it's what you actually look like, which is very helpful. Oh, okay? yeah. None of this Snapchat filter bullshit. Oh, okay? I can go on about I don't like the Snapchat filters. Whose cat is this in the second one? Oh, that's my friend Dylan and Ellen's cat. It's Gus. I like this one because it's playful. It shows that you have a sense of humor, that you don't hate animals, which I think is a huge red flag. Absolutely. Also, great hand shot. Lesbians, take note. Look at the fingers. She is not fucking around. She's letting you know she's got gay hands and they are here to work. <laughs> work those gay hands, girl. <laughs> right now I'm picking up this cat, but I could be picking up your cat if you know what i'm saying yes where's my thumb is it inside this pussy possibly can't see it i don't know why the first two pictures are so sex oriented like without being sex oriented but it's like it's because you're a deviant my pro i'm a deviant <laughs> my priorities are very um front forward i like that you put in your profile aries pet free non-smoker what are the other options like why did you go with pet free that was it it asked me those three questions like it asked me my horoscope if i had pets and then if i was a smoker not your like political affiliation i feel like that's so much more important it, than whether or not you have a shih tzu at home like that just seems <laughs> so much more important i don't know why it didn't ask me anything else I like this third picture because with you in the blazer, it's like, if you didn't know, I am mask. Okay, we get it. If you couldn't figure out whether or not I'm a top or a bottom and look, listeners coming to cancel me, not all mask people are tops and not all bottoms are femmes, but there is a correlation sometimes, okay? And Mac is letting you know she's got the blazer on. This is a very sexy photo. Wait, thank you. I it's a little hey mamas. It is. But for the for the girls that you're probably going for, I think it'll probably work. <laughs> Which is who? Little simp, little simp femmes. That's totally my type. Are you <sighs> I have to say, listen, I like to think I'm a top, but like a nice, like dominant femme. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm with you. Fuck yeah. yes. Like, absolutely. This girl can borrow your blazer. Wow, no one has ever described my type better. Yes, that was perfect. That was actually perfect. Can I change my Tinder profile right now to that? That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually that's a great 
steal this, you guys. If you have a shot with a blazer, you can be like, try on my blazer. I think it'll work. This is like lesbian Cinderella. Put on my blazer. That's so good. Thank you, I'm a slut. All right. <laughs> Okay, this last photo posted up against a wall, another great shot for the forearms <laughs> and the fingers, letting you know that she has been a fact, you're a backstreet boy with an I at the end of it. You are a backstreet boy. <laughs> I also love that you have content creator there. So basically professional douche, professional douche bag. Absolutely, God, the way that I would not swipe right on me just because I think she looks like an asshole until you see the next picture. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, this one just very much has like, <laughs> fog machine vibes. Uh, <laughs> if you were going for 90s with the haircut, you fucking nailed it with this with this shot. Is this a photo from me from 1995? Am I a 50-year-old dyke? I'm not sure. <laughs> this is so cute. Thank you. This just says a little bit about your personality. Like you're a little nerdy, you're playful, you're not afraid of like putting a baby photo up there. I think it's always fun to have a shot that you're like, I'm a nerd or I'm a this, something that gets to your personality. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every one of these shots so far, your personality has been, hey, mamas, pick me, fuck boy. And this really says, I might play, I might play Nintendo now. And exactly. Then. You know? That's exactly why I put it in there too. Because at the end of the day, I'm a fucking dweeb. I want to do like weird shit and like watch Star Wars all the time and like watch Marvel movies in chronological order and like, <laughs> I want to do shit like that. Oh my like God, that. I hate you. Why? Do you not like Marvel? I can't. I'm too far gone. Stop. No, you're not. Yeah, no, I am. We can We can still save you. No, you're the one who needs help. <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe you have this like incel photo of yourself. You're like, I'm a nice, girls don't like nice guys. I just want to watch the Marvel movies in chronological order. And and then you're like, I can save you. I'm like, uh, I'm going to go outside. This is Excuse like, me. we might as well be like a Republican and a liberal right now. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I am a Republican. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to get canceled. I've just decided that at the end of every roasting, I am going to give the profile a rating based on an arbitrary standard that doesn't really make any sense. So because you are an incel, I could go based on a, a Marvel superheroes. I would be honored. On a scale, who do you think the worst Marvel superhero is? The worst Marvel superhero? Yeah. I might get canceled for this. Loki. Yeah, what's with the fucking horns? You are weird, you're pretentious, you're annoying. So from Loki to Spider-Man seems super gay to me. That is a very tight suit. You're it's squirting so tight. cum like this all over the place. That is fucking gay, bro. This is <laughs> That's gay. The hand. You're literally going like this and squirting gay. I would give this a solid eight. No, I'm gonna give you 9.5 Spider-Man. And I understand that out of 10 possible Spider-Mans, this is a very gay profile. It's the only thing I'm missing is like, no, honestly, I love the profile. 10 out of 10 Spider-Mans. I think you are fucking you nailed me? it. Yeah, 10 out of 10 Spider-Mans. Wait, are you serious right now? You win, you win. <laughs> That is it for this roasting and viewing of Max dating profile. We're going to do Elena Joy's is coming up. All of your favorite queer people and maybe straight people. If you don't hit fucking subscribe, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. I'm a 34 year old woman trying to get famous. Okay. I'm better than every other community. Everyone comments Netflix all over my shit. Would you just fucking subscribe you piece of shit? And honestly, I will text you once a year or email you once a year when I'm in your city. Don't make me go viral. Don't make me go viral. Don't make me pop up in your FYP. Do you even care? Do you even fucking care? Do you know how hard it, Mac, tell them how hard it is to go viral. It's so, it, like, I would go as far as to say that if you don't subscribe, I'm not swiping right. Holy fucking shit. I can't wait to see you reject some girl. Next time you match with someone, I better see a screenshot. We can do a follow-up of like the conversations with girls. <laughs> yes, I would absolutely love that. And now we're gonna make some content for your channel and we're doing a little sw swappy swap me pre-coming out. So go to Max page and go, anything else that I need to say? Turn on the bell for notifications. I don't even fucking care. Just sign up for my tour dates, you piece of shit. Do you want to see me live or not? 18 plus, all of my shows are 18 and older. Go <laughs> subscribe. <laughs>